Welcome to our video tutorial series on drawing curves in 3D space and uh, applying surfaces to these curves that we're going to draw. So in this video I'm going to go over uh, the impo importance of our near and our point tool, how we're going to be drawing curves in 3D space uh, as opposed to two-dimensional space like we've been doing uh, in the past couple videos. And then I'm going to go over how to create simple surfaces over top of these curves that we create. So to start off I'm just going to Go into top view and using the polyline I'm just going to draw a simple box. I'm going to hold shift down too so I can make it pretty straight. Alright so there's my box I can turn my control points on you can see it's just four control points connected by curves in between. Uh, and all I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna copy and paste it and move it down. So I'm gonna go Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And I can move it down there. As you can see, we're halfway done our wireframe box. So to finish the box, I'm gonna turn both of these uh, rectangles and turn the control points on for them. I'm going to make sure my point tool is on and I'm just going to connect them from control point to control point with a simple line. So I go on one point to another point, press enter to finish. one point to another point and enter. So there you can see I freehand drew um, a box in space rather than drawing a two-dimensional box and extruding it. And this is going to be really important uh, once we get to drawing our necks uh, of blueprints because they're quite complicated shapes. Uh, they're rounded on the bottom, they go from square to rounded to flat and uh, just extruding them won't get us the proper shape that we need. So I'm going to go over how to put a surface on top of it. So first thing I'm going to do is turn control points off. And then I want to split uh, this original polyline that I drew into four separate pieces. So I'm going to go split tool. I'm going to do it to the top and the bottom. So these are both of the objects I want to split because they're both one line right now. We want to turn it into four line segments. So I'll press enter and I want to split them of these four pieces here. So as you can see now, the original line I drew is broken up into four segments on the top and the bottom. I can select every line on this box individually. So to put a surface on that, we just go surface, patch, and then we select the four lines we want to contain our patch in, so right there, press done. And there we have a surface. So I'll do it again on another side so you can see it one more time. Surface, patch. Select that curve. Done. So you can see I can turn on shaded viewport. And we have a surface there. Um, we're going to draw our next. 3D and wireframe, and then we're just going to put a surface over top of the entire neck. Uh, the most important aspect to this process is making sure that our lines are connected. All three lines here are connected with one control point. If they're not connected properly, we won't be able to put a patch on them and create surfaces. Uh, and when we are doing our neck, uh, we're going to be doing more complex shapes. Uh, they're going to be rounded, so instead of doing a patch, we're going to do a curved network. Uh, but that we'll get into that once we start doing the tutorial videos for the next.